In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to use Link Mask and Edge Detail. First, we create a layer. Add a black mask and a paint effect. We select the texture we want to use and apply it. For now, we only want to use the height channel. Press Alt, click on the channel, to keep only height active, and lower the value to negative 1. Since the texture is very flat, the relief is barely visible. So we add a blur filter, set the resolution to 2K, and increase the blur intensity until we get a more defined result. Points or two is enough for what we need. Now we are going to use the Link Mask tool. When we add it, it stores all the mask information from the layers below. Inside the Link Mask itself, allowing us to reuse that information in the layers above. Next, we add a new layer. Activate only the height channel again, this time in positive, and add a black mask. To use our link mask, we create a fill effect. Inside the fill, instead of selecting a texture, we reference the link mask we just created. If we visualize the mask, Alt plus click on the mask icon, we can see exactly the same information we had below. Then, we add a blur on top to expand the mask a bit. Finally, we add another fill effect, call the link mask again, and change the blending mode to subtract. This generates a mask that works perfectly to create edge relief. The falloff is controlled with the blur and the intensity of the relief with the height value. Now let's go back to the layer where we stored the link mask and activate the Edge Detail option. This allows us to access the edge information of the link mask in smart effects such as Edgeware. Let's go to the Edgeware effect, which generates paintware to reveal the metal underneath. And in its options, under Edge Detail, select the Edge Detail linked to our link mask. This way, we also get consistent wear in the height and normal map thanks to the link mask. We can also go back to the link mask layer, temporarily disable the blur to paint, 
and clearly see what we are doing, since blur in mix mode may hide information. And then turn it back on. Once we finish, we update the effects with the Update button. This refreshes the blur, the link mask, and the information in the upper layers. If any effect, for example the blur of the layer bump channel, doesn't refresh correctly at first, we manually update it. Just press Update again, and all the effects will sync with the new information. This combination of link mask plus edge detail is very powerful for creating effects and micro details that would otherwise be very time-consuming or even impossible to achieve.